Yeah, so the Alliance Z11102 clinical trial was designed to look at the role of breast conserving therapy for patients with multiple ipsilateral breast cancer. And so increasingly as we're working out patients with newly diagnosed breast cancer, we're finding patients that have more than one focus of disease within the breast. And historically, these patients have been recommended mastectomy because of the high rates of cancer returning or local recurrence in the breast when these patients were treated with breast conserving therapy in historical studies. And so we designed the trial to look at the local recurrence rates with current modern day therapy with breast conserving surgery followed by whole breast radiation and a radiation boost to all of the lumpectomy sites. In the study, we enrolled over 200 patients and we set the primary endpoint that we would be a successful trial if the local recurrence rate at five years was less than 8%. And so we're delighted to report the primary endpoint of the study now with five years of follow-up shows that the estimated five-year local recurrence rate is 3.1%. And so that clearly meets uh, the protocol defined endpoint. So taken together, this shows us that for patients who have more than one focus of disease within the breast or patients with multiple ipsilateral breast cancer, they can also consider breast conserving therapy as one of their treatment options rather than automatically requiring mastectomy. In terms of looking at the study population, the vast majority of our study population had ER positive HER2 negative disease. Um, and most of the patients also only had two sites of disease in the breast as opposed to three sites of disease in the breast. And the majority of patients did have a preoperative MRI. We did note in the study that those patients with a preoperative MRI had a lower recurrence rate than those without a preoperative MRI. So I think for those patients undergoing breast conserving surgery for two or three sites of disease in the breast, there may be uh, reasonable to consider a preoperative MRI in that patient population. And then furthermore, we also showed, as one would expect, that for those patients with ER positive disease, that the local recurrence rate was lower with the use of adjuvant endocrine therapy. And so as adjuvant endocrine therapy is the standard even for unifocal breast cancer, it would be important to ensure that patients are going to consider adjuvant endocrine therapy for ER positive breast cancer if they're pursuing breast conserving therapy for multiple ipsilateral breast cancer.